In this IBM BPM tutorial, we will understand about the timer events. So, the agenda is how to implement the timer events in BPD and how to implement escalations also in BPD. Okay, so as the name itself says, what is the timer event? Basically, you are timing an activity. Okay, so as we know in BPD, we will be having the multiple activities and we want one activity should be finished at some particular time frame okay so we will time that activity and once that timer is done then after that might be uh, we can send an escalation email to the manager like uh, this person has not completed the activity whatever the time was assigned to him so we can take some further action against that particular person or group we can also send an uh, send a reminder email so we can use the timer activity in different different ways okay so now we will understand how to implement the timer event so any timer event you need to drag and drop from the palette and here you will see uh, let me just show you over here okay fine so this is our data integrity business process and in this data integrity business process okay let me just delete first thing okay suppose what i want this review activity i want to timed suppose this review activity need to be done within 5 minutes okay and if within the 5 minutes the review is not done automatically the task will be assigned to the load okay or sometimes if you want you can we can also implement like uh, uh, we can also send a reminder email to the reviewer okay so how to implement you have to now click the intermediate event just drag and drop this intermediate immediate event over here so the intermediate event you can expose via four ways error message content and timer we need to select the timer okay and uh, after this here you can see there are four type of properties okay one is you need to select after start of step before due date after due date before custom date and after custom date what does it mean so whenever the control will come to the review activity okay uh, when you want to timed okay so it so here it basically says suppose after five minutes what i want it i want automatically the task should be assigned to the load okay fine like this so you can create a control point from here okay so that's what it says okay after start of a step what you want I want to have the five minutes okay so you can make it as a five minutes okay fine then the question come what is the tolerance interval okay so suppose once the five minutes are over okay and the person is not able to complete this task so after that do you want to provide some sort of a tolerance to the uh, user tolerance means what happens uh, suppose when the task is assigned to that particular user and user has already claimed the task okay if the user has not claimed the task tolerance interval will not be applicable so what user need to do user has to claim the task and then suppose i am giving as a one minute again okay so in that case uh, this control will not be activated till six minutes five minutes this uh, the user will get and if he has claimed the task he will get additional one more minute to complete the task okay so if he has not claimed the task this additional one more minute will not be given to him okay so let's test this then we can understand more okay so what if i will do let me make as a before and after differences as one and i'm not giving any tolerance as of now so this is the minutes okay so you can see over here in our data integrity process first it will go to the collection screen then after that you are checking a decision 
so it will come to the decision service and then after that it will go to the reviewer activity and in the reviewer activity it is going to wait till one minute and if within one minute uh, the person has not claimed the task he hasn't worked in the task automatically the task will be assigned to the loader okay fine so let's test I can test from the from here itself yes so first task is assigned to the intake and let me finish this I made a request as a create Tom okay let me make it as a zip code change okay please change the zip code okay fine yes and now the task will be assigned to the review activity okay fine so this review activity I'm not going to work on till one minute if it is if I will not work on automatically the task will be assigned to the load activity so let's see if my timer is working fine or not so it is still there you can see it's there in the review document okay so you can see over here I just refreshed and you can see review document is automatically closed and the task is assigned to the load document okay so once one minute is over automatically the task was assigned to the load so this is the timer event and this timer event we can utilize in different different ways like you can we can utilize as a implementation of the escalation like after here you can uh, send this particular control to the uh, email adopter okay and that email adopter will s directly send out an email to the uh, manager like this uh, reviewer has not completed the task whatever the time is given to him so please send a forward uh, reminder email to the reviewer so you can use it in different ways okay so this is the way we can implement the timer you can also check with the tolerance interval give a tolerance interval and see and claim the task and see whether the task is adding the tolerance interval in the time which is assigned to the activity